Campbell. It's mine's it. Is being sick a choice? It's mine's it. Yeah. Literally, it's oh. mine's it. The side dish, which is a mashed potato ball stuffed with jalapenos and cheese, crumbed and deep fried. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Freeze dried lollies is the next thing on my list. Taking the lolly world by storm oh, from Pick yeah. and Mix. I think they're rubbish. You're listening to the Pepper and Me podcast around the dinner table with Cherie, Cam and Lorne where we chat all things food and business. All right, welcome to Around the Dinner Table podcast. We're back with the original three again. My name's Lorne, Cherie and Cam. Cherie. Um, yeah, well, you're going too slow. We've got, to, we've got to move this on. No one actually cares about you. Yeah, fair. Light bulb, eh? Honestly. <laughs> Big, big, big morning for you guys. Oh, we've actually had a f- flat stack week. This week's this been week. mental. Yeah, flat um, stack. Shreese kept telling me that um, being sick is a decision, so I've been deciding not to be sick, which is not going too well because now I'm getting more sick. But anyway, well, here I am, and now I'm not going to get any more sick from carrying on. I, no, it's Campbell mindset. will agree. Campbell, it's mindset. Is being sick a choice? It's mindset. Yeah. Literally, it's oh, mindset. Yeah. Jog on. That's why you're always Whatever. sick. We are never sick. Uh, always on. Because we're legends. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What Amen, sister. Ever. Okay, right. What let's ever. let's round it up. Anyway, I was trying to get you to notice my use of the word flat stack. Oh yeah. Because there's been a big old discussion topic, hot debate. Yeah. Is it flat tack or flat stack? Oh. It's the, is this really how exciting your life is at the yep. moment? It's yeah. A flat right. tack. Flat tack. Yeah. Guess, okay, what do you think? I would have thought flat stack. Okay, so it's actually flat stick. Flat stick? Yeah, as in you put your foot flat on the gas stick, and that's the Wait, saying. gas stick or stick? pedal? No, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's flat stick, that's the saying. It's flat tack. I always thought it was flat stack, as in, like, you've got a stack of paperwork to get through. Yeah. You could be flat tack, like flat as a tack. Yeah. Nah, flat stick, that's the saying. Flat stick. So we've stick. all been using it wrong our whole lives. Flat stick. Who, um, who has brought this lie forward? The, well, the internet, because I heard, no. some, I heard someone saying, oh, I'm flat tack. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's flat stack. And then a debate ensured. Flat stick. A Googling happened. It's flat stick. Flat. Oh, it's your foot's flat on the like stick. Like pedal, pedal, pedal to the middle. middle is the exact same, eh? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, there's a nice little piece of information for you. Flat stick. By the way, it's gas pedal. Just yeah, saying. Well, I, whatever. It's, I, wow. Hey, I'm so glad that we did this podcast today, guys. Thanks. We'll wrap it up there. <laughs> Flat stick. And I'm, um, not, thanks. I'm here to educate. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's talk about food. What's the best thing you've eaten this week? Cashew pepe at uh, Peachy. Oh, peachy, peachy. nice. Peachy. I actually want to bring it up because it is nice. Like um, It's yep. kind of like a massive... Um, I'm glad you wanted to bring food up on this <laughs> I can't. Not some other little stupid word game. Carry on. <laughs> if you were just here to be negative, you can leave. We didn't you last week. Fitness is sure. a choice. Oh. <laughs> just be cool. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. Anyway, um, I did want to talk about it, though, because it is quite like a iconic dish right now at the moment. Like, a lot of people are talking about it. Or maybe that's just an our friend group, anyway. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, like, it was nice, but I think it, doesn't have, it wasn't, like, punchy, if that makes sense. And I wanted to ask you, what, like, why would that have been? Well, it's a very simple dish, cacio e pepe. Yeah. Pa- like pecorino, pepper, pasta water, and pasta. Yeah. Is all that's in it. The pasta be hand rolled, eh? That looks pretty 100%, good. 100%, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's not a punchy dish. It's not like they're adding lemon. Like, I think that's what actually happens in Italy. A lot of people are like, oh, I just didn't really like vibe with the food. It's very simple. Yeah, okay. And places either do it well or don't. I think Peachy does it exceptionally. But... I will admit the last time I went wasn't as good as the first time I went. The first time I went, the ragu had so much flavour, I felt like it had been reduced for about seven years. <laughs> and whereas last time I was like, oh, this is still good. It was still good. And I think it maybe is better because it's $18. Yeah, okay. And you're like, that's just handmade pass. A beautiful ragu, 18 bucks. Like, yeah, love that, it. Yeah, good yeah. Price. Um, and it's because it's such a hole in the wall thing. But yeah, d- yeah. I think overall, I did really enjoy yeah. the whole thing. Like, it's definitely a cool little vibey spot. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. Where is it? In St. Calvin's Arcade. Um, um, K Road. Oh, yeah. There's a cool bar across from it called Tom Foolery. Yeah, Tom Foolery. And you know what's yeah. really funny? Someone came up to me with the name Tom Foolery. It's like the mm. gift store at the gift. Fair. Ah. I was like, oh, whoa, this is cool. Yeah. But 
yeah, anyway, we'll move on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I still think it's a must try for people, but yeah, I, I, do you know what? I think you're right. I think it's going to be knocked from the post of top, like my favourite thing to go to. And Auckland. Like next time I go to Auckland, I'm not going to be racing there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it was probably just up to my expectations. That I don't yeah. know. I, it's also personal preference. Like, yeah, that's like true. ketchup pepper is a rich dish. It's peppery. It's not supposed to be. I wouldn't say like punchy. You know, what's the? We're not adding chili and lemon and yeah, stuff. Yeah, what's to the it. parsley, it, 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 it lemon, parsley, lemon, and chili one? Oh, aglio. That one, aglio, aglio, olio. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That one. You know, very Keep simple. That one next time. Aglio, no, but you know, I'll make cool you one. Now. I've been doing one with olives, chili. Parmesan Perfect. and Italian parsley yeah, okay. through yeah. pasta, yeah. and that just the olives give it the so, like little real lovely, lovely salty. little saltiness, and then the chili gives it the spice. And I think that that's my new favourite pasta. But I yeah, just cool. kind of just started doing that. I was like, oh, that's yummy. Mm. That's very nice. Because sardines yeah. is a big one too, as like a base. Is it, is it? it is. It's very Sicilian, and I've been reading lots about it because I'm going to Sicily soon. Um, but it's just <laughs> not my favourite vibe, you know? Yeah, yeah. I and they that. do a lot with sardines, pine nuts and raisins. There's a little combo, which is just also a weird vibe. But I'm going to eat it, you know, I'm going to appreciate it, but it's not going to be my favourite. Yeah, right. yeah, you wouldn't remake it. Well, I don't know. Like, we, we were going to make it the other week and then I just couldn't help myself but to just do what I wanted to, to eat, which was olives and chili. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Back to basics. I know, I keep buying these beautiful tins of sardines and then be like, oh, I just, I'm trying to, you yeah. know, I'm trying to, but it's just, you can't, everyone's got a different Because another real good, love. like, classic or on little entrees or, like, um, that they had there was tomatoes, uh, sun-dried tomatoes with sardines on um, stradatella. Yeah. And that was actually, that was quite... That, that's lit. Yeah, and there was basil. Yeah, that oh, was something Oh, stradatella so is just absolutely spectacular. Mozzarella's cancelled because if you have mozzarella, you should make stradatella. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's there. Aye. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. bother. Otherwise, it is delicious. Go home. <laughs> Pack your bag. Don't come here and be basic. Basic mozzarella. Yeah, how, dare, how dare you? Better. Get some content, eh? Yeah, actual like roll up in that ball shape, bringing nothing to the table. Open yourself There's up. There's no surprises <laughs> or anything, you know? Expose think, yourself think outside the ball. Expose yourself, yeah. Yeah, be, yeah, be Just saucy. Let loose, eh? Spread them. Pop a lid off. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quote. That's a new, that's my new quote, yeah. T-shirt, that I shit. Like, oh, I just had the most massive weekend the other weekend, and then <laughs> by Sunday I was like, oh, Richard, I kept my lid on all weekend. Oh, I, think it, I think it's time to pop my lid off. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway. Right. Best, this, what have you, what's the best thing you've eaten on? Oh, I made um, chicken burgers last night, fried chicken burgers, and I think it just, like, you kind of, it's one of those things for us, like it feels like it's so much admin, just like heating up oil and deep yeah. frying chicken. But it's so good. It's actually so good. Like fry a chicken thighs, brioche buns, just like some burger shredded cheese? burger cheese, some good pickles, pickled onions. Yeah, shredded, it's shredded just shredded a winner. The Shredders. Fried burger. Hey, yeah. do you know what we did? So good. Um, yeah, so good. Yesterday. Well, honestly, that's why I ended up doing fried chicken burgers because I was sitting there <laughs> at the photo chicken. shoot <laughs> thinking about fried chicken because these guys went and got KFC. <laughs> we had a... <laughs> Dirty bird. <laughs> yeah, we had a photo shoot yesterday and so usually I'd cook 100 dishes and but the aim of the photo shoot yesterday was different. We were getting product sh styled product shots. So we were just taking photos of... Um, like a, ma a man rub with a steak hanging down behind mm. or um, so I'd cooked a few things and like we were doing the plant palm and we were like mm. oh, I'll whip up a pasta quick or something but I hadn't had 50 dishes to shoot the dish whipped up and then we were like oh let's do the burger sauce what can we have to put the burger sauce on yeah. and someone's like oh why don't we get, go get some KFC <laughs> and so we're like oh this is actually such a good idea so we went and got like <laughs> wicked wings and then we got like a burger, and then we're just yeah, like, because we were just like, you know, being quite different with our photography style yesterday. So we were really pushing boundaries. So we're just like smothering these burgers and sauce and oh, like aioli. Yeah. And then we had like, yeah. Chips so I was sitting there like with KFC going around. And I was like, oh, and then Haley was just like, should we do fried chicken burgers? I'm like, done. Let's Definitely do this. firm, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's not groundbreaking, but it's no, but it was delicious. Good, um, it? Let's go back. I did. I ha- haven't done a podcast since I did my briskets, which was delicious for my birthday. That was a couple. Yeah, you couple actually. Old, that was like a month ago, almost. Really, nah, a couple of weeks ago. Yes, it was six, sensational. Bintest, yeah, bintest. yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was tender. It was juicy, smoky. Firm but fair. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of effort. <laughs> to get the result. See, that's what I said to you. Right? Yeah, it was what I'm you like, said to me. It's not not like anything wrong with it. It's delicious. Yeah. But is it worth getting up at like five a.m.? I don't know. I don't know. I want to do it again and and kind of like maybe not at like a party where I'm feeding a whole bunch of other people, so I can actually enjoy eating it and you know not have to worry yeah. about all that sort of stuff yeah. and then critique myself a bit better. But I'm a big fan of like the pulled porks, the pulled beef cheeks. The, the, you know, the pork belly burnt ends where it's a little bit less, like you just shove it in and you cook it really, like there's, like it's not like you've got to pull it off at certain temperatures and be super specific about it. Like if you do a pulled pork and you take it 10 degrees over what it's supposed to be, like it's still going to be fine. Oh, you, you can't you, go like wrong. You can't with go it. wrong. That's why brisket's a competition, mate, isn't exactly. it? It's difficult. It's, it's hard diff- work. So, it's dramatic. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to do pulled beef cheeks. This weekend, so yeah. I'll report back on that later. Yeah, can, can you document that, please? <sighs> I just it's if you so selfies. much effort with two kids running around because it's so noisy that like I feel like, but I guess you should do a voiceover or something, okay? Well, just do it, and people yeah. don't care. People it's fine. I've been doing it my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Anyway, go on, Tree. Tell okay. us about your food. Okay. <laughs> well, since you asked, <laughs> um, no, I just I've just been thinking about. Oh, so I'm going to be writing a. Dining guide for the oh. Bay of Plenty for our place magazine. Oh. It's my first task. Ooh, very oh. cool. And I've been thinking a lot about it all the time, obviously, being like, where's my favourite this? What's my favourite this? Because I reckon there's so many great, like, good restaurants, mm. but they might have, like, one or two outstanding dishes. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use Pearl Kitchen and Henry and Ted's as an example. Pearl Kitchen does the best eggs, Benny, because the hash cakes are spectacular. So They're so good. They are so good. flawless, delicious. Amazing. Best eggs, Benny, Pearl Kitchen. Yes. But if you want toast, eggs on toast, yeah. the toast is not good. Uh-huh. And I'm not... Oh, I shouldn't say it's not good. Like, I don't like it. Okay, yeah. my personal... Opinion is I don't really like the toast there. Okay. So if I'm going to have eggs on toast, I think Henry and Ted has spectacular sourdough and the most amazing multigrain that you'll yep. ever try. So if you want like poached eggs, avocado and relish, go Henry, go and, Ted's. Henry and Ted's. Yep. If you want sort of scram on, yeah. Yep. And they do the chilli scram with fried eggs, which I which I always get them to try and scramble instead. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can write that into the food guide. Like if you want an off-menu suggestion, uh. which is actually the best dish, ask for the fried chilli fried eggs but with scrambled eggs. <laughs> so anyway... That's what I want to do. Yep. That's my project this week. Yep. So I've been thinking lots about, like, where is the best this? Yep. And I was driving to work thinking about croissants. Oh, croissants. And I was like, I'm going to pull into Pocket Bakery. And he just had hot, hot croissants straight oh. away. And I know I've said it before, but they are absolutely out out the gate. gate. Out the gate. Yep. Out the gate. Yep. Yeah, those they ones you got this- Insane, and he's so lovely. And I was just yarning with him, and he's like, "Well, he uses a, he's like a sourdough-based croissant, right? So they're like a thirty-six-hour full butter proof." I'm oh like, "Why God. don't you sell these at other places? But there's no margin in them, yeah. So you can't. Yeah. So I think it's Wednesdays and Fridays. For he's only only open like yeah. Wednesdays and Fridays morning, Friday mornings until they're sold out. Hotu Hotu Street down yeah. the road, but they are the best croissants I've ever tasted. Yeah, yeah. they're up there with Loon. Like I, I reckon they're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Loon's nice. So. Yeah, slightly softer, but. Oh, God, they're good. Anyway, okay, so that's probably the best thing I ate. I've just been, I'm so happy with my choice to go there. Nice, nice. Uh, I forgot I, to say that we went out to Fife Lane. Oh, that's right. I um, gave you oh, date night. And yeah. gave you my Fife Lane voucher. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Appreciate that. Got us a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was delicious, though. So good. I know. So, so, actually, so good. It's the best day. It's the best day. Yep. It's one of the top 100 steakhouses in the world. Yep. I reckon... Um, I've got this really firm love for a bivet steak yep. at the moment. Yep. And, um, yeah, I reckon their bivet's better. Oh, I'm going to cancel sirloin. Have I cancelled sirloin yet? You talked about I it. Think I think we the have, yeah. the worst meat in the yep. pl- on the planet, eh? He's I think we have already. absolutely done. Well, I'd just like to state that point with a full stop. Okay. Ca- sirloin's cancelled is not coming back. Okay. Well, I mean, he kind of has to stay around because you can't get the rest of the meat without... Yeah. Somebody eating sirloin, but okay. No, well, just honestly, chuck it to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> dogs that you don't like. What about tomahawk? That's a big trend at the tomahawk's moment. Tomahawk's all right. The bivet, bivet is the way forward. Another yep. word, you call it, it's flank steak. 
that's why we've not heard it so much before. Right, okay. It's a flank steak. Yeah, right. So if you're looking for one, that's what you probably got to look for. Most butchers don't even have it. They're like, oh, no one wants it. I'm like, you wait. <laughs> they will. We're bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vet is Shree on. said so. <laughs> we, um, we got the gnocchi there, though, and it was delicious. I've never had gnocchi that, like, light and fluffy. Yeah. Um, so, so, so good. And it was, like, mushroom gnocchi, and I don't even like mushrooms, but... We're fighting over it. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah Fire nice. Flame is We've spectacular. talked about Fire Flame so before, so I won't yarn too much about that, but it was delicious. No, they are great. And Peach had a special, nice they had a yeah. corn knocky. That was, that was sensational. Oh, yeah. And I think it was just because I like corn. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. <Yee-haw. laughs> yeah. Yeehaw, cowboy. And they had a random specials, eh? We had a smoked fish pasta, like a creamy, it was like a mascarpone Ooh. smoked fish. Maybe chive sort of sauce. Yeah, right. And it was very rogue order, but uh, yeah, loved it. I got to go and try a new restaurant last week. Where oh. is this? It's called Jason Bien. I don't know. We call it Jason and Ben's. It's like um, <laughs> a French name. J- Jason Bien. No, no, no. I don't know. Jason and Ben's waterfront on the Strand. Ah, okay. Um, and it's very. Um, it, the food was good. Really good. It was very old school. Right. Yeah. If you want to take your parents somewhere, take them there. Right. It was, um, you know, like all your classics, staples, steak, pick your sauce, yep. lamb, um, lamb uh, rack, rack, rack of rack. lamb, right. fish of the day, yep. cheese board, mm-hmm. eaten mess, baked cheesecake. Right. Like it was just real like. Solid. Solid. Lone star you know, that stuff that will never, yeah. it'll never go out of fashion. Not yeah. Lone Star. Okay. And the flavours were really yum. There was, a re- there was a really nice lemony ricotta dish with um, fried courgettes and shredded fresh courgettes on top, oh, yum. which oh. was beautiful. Yeah, that, that was my dish delicious. of the day. Um, so that was quite cool. It's where Valare was down on the Strand. Oh, okay. I very rarely in go to the here. Strand just because it's such a and – and I love going to Sugo so much. If I'm in town, I'll, like, I'll always try and go to Sugo. Yeah. That place is phenomenal. Yeah, but that was worth a mention. Great meal, great wine. They have a pianist. Pianist. Oh, pianist. Um, <laughs> so if you'd like some pianist music and uh, lamb rack, pop on down. Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, to Jason and Ben's. <laughs> <laughs> Jason and Ben's. <laughs> we'll add the actual name in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, just, it's J-A-I-S and then something B, I don't know, something French. Oh, I made brunch the other day. I'd, I'd, actually, I'd made dinner the night before we were having barbecue. Someone had brought some smoked fish, some smoked gem fish, and I made some fish cakes, which oh. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I've ever made fish cakes in my life. I like think... a Thai, Thai fish cake. Yep. It was like a basic I was like, I'm going to make some mashed potato. Oh, yeah. It was maybe like two thirds smoked fish, one third mashed potato. I put heaps of capers and dill and lemon. It was mm. quite punchy. And then and we like deep fry it. No, I just pan fried them the next morning uh, because we didn't end up. I was like, there's way too much food for the barbecue, right. so I'll do them the next morning. Poached egg, hollandaise. Yeah. I think that was possibly the best breakfast I've had or made yep. in a very very long time. Smoked fish. Smoked fish. Yeah. Right. What kind of fish was it? Gem fish. But. What does that look like? Ad- ugly. Okay. <laughs> it's an ugly, weird, large fish. Yeah, right. Um, it was sensational. I'm like, oh, that would just be something. You, I'd mm. never order a fish cakes for the poach. No, no, you know, that wouldn't be my go-to. No, no. But it was, like, well worth a revisit. Interesting. I think it was, like, such a lush base for the poached egg and the yep. hollandaise as opposed to a toast or a hash cake. Yep. It was really, like, oh, yeah. Get a bit of freshness, get a bit of smokiness. Sensational, a little bit of chilli oil on yep. them, some fresh dill. Oh, yep. yeah. You can see that working. Wonderful, very, very good. My other noteworthy mention is Leo's Pizza in Papamoa. Right. Yeah. I'm sure you've mentioned him. We had it ages ago, I think my house filming like a year ago, and I think it was just real busy. There was lots of kids who didn't get to sit down and eat it properly, but had it the other day again. There was a bit of anticipation because I ordered online at like a Sunday Arvo. We're like, oh, we'll have late lunch. Yep. And I, so I ordered it at like one. And then at like 2.30, it wasn't there. I was like, oh, I'm pretty hungry. Yep. And I saw that they didn't open till five. Oh. <laughs> so I ran. I was like, oh, I placed an order. They're like, oh, yeah, we open at five. You'll get it at like 5.40. I was like, oh, God, I'm in for the long haul now. I was like, I can't eat, can I? Because <laughs> it's coming. It. Yeah. yeah. So I strapped in. Yeah. <laughs> watched my first ever episode of Maths. Oh, yeah. Struggled through. But uh, if that's all everyone talks about, and I just don't yeah. know what's happening. And like, yeah, um, yeah, it gets better. I haven't watched Does one it? of them. I feel like it doesn't. I'm in hook, line, sink now, which oh. I don't like. But Haley watches it, so I just kind of have to. But now I'm hooked. Oh, so she just... are you? 
God, isn't yeah. it? Don't you just think to yourself while you're watching, like, why am I wasting my life but like that this? That happens. Yeah. Love but Island. But I mean, I'm going to waste my life on something else at 8 o'clock on a Wednesday night. Like, what do you... <laughs> clean the house or watch TV? Yeah. Oh, I, I go know. on, like... I go on, like, um, real deep TikTok, TikTok holes. holes. So now I'm, like, an expert on the PCP trail, hiking trail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's something with the stingray that's pregnant? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, PCP, hiking trail. You should yeah. go and do it. Oh, my God, I got PCP. so into it. She, she, this girl, she, she documented her day-to-day. Yeah. And I think it was 180 days. She, yeah, she you massive. walked from Canada to Mexico. Yeah. yeah. And she, every day, Jeepers. daily diary. Yeah. And she, so she, she wanted to, Eat all her own food, so she dehydrated, dehydrated all her meals. Dehydrated everything, and you send it, it to places to in front places of you. Yeah, yeah. on the tra- That's trail. Commitment. And then you walk off trail to go to the little town and get it in the back. Yep. And she was by herself. Yep. Like, oh, it was just the most fascinating thing yep. ever. Oh, I just wish I was a person who did stuff like that. So you go to the yep. base of Mexico. Yeah, I yeah. Because you can keep going. Uh, that top, that northern part of Mexico is the dodgy part. Yeah, I don't think you go too far in. It's main. It's through oh, okay. America, but it's yeah, right. from. Yep. Yeah, top that's spot. that's still America's massive. Eh? Oh, it's it's it was wild. wild. Yeah, 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 really wild. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but there's yeah, it was very very. It kind of be like the Tauraro. Yeah, trial, totally but similar. But yeah, 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 just way bigger. Way bigger. Because there yeah. was a um, last was well, start of summer, people were documenting their Tauraro trails. Eh? Yes, I enjoy watching those sort of TikToks too. I Out totally like back when I was maybe like nineteen and I was working at MacPack. I was like planning to do that. Like, you I got into the geeky side of things and I'd, like, planned out, like, all of the weight of my pack and everything that I was going to take and how much it was going to cost me. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna do it. I reckon I would have done it as well, but... And you got a girlfriend. Life, yeah, girlfriend and then university and all of that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you should go and do it, though. I, wanna, I still would do love it to now. do it. You're in pain and sick all the time. Heaps of people. I'm <laughs> <once> <laughs> sick all the time. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, another, oh, another cough, cough. I reckon I'll do no. it. Bit. Yeah, you, um, could, you could smash it out. I'd do it in sections, right? Like, you'd, yeah. do, you'd go do a week of walking, and you'd start at the top, and then you'd, wherever you finish, you finish. And yeah. then, you know, go back to another life. six months, you go back and do another week, that kind of yeah, thing. Connie's going to run it. Yeah, she's going to try. She reckons she can run it in, like, uh, 40 days or something. There's a record day uh, that she she's wants to do. It's basically a marathon a day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that top of the South Island, that would be the hard part. Because you you're, you're, you're isolated. Yeah, from top, of, top of the North Island, you've got 90 mile, 90 mile beach. beach. It's like looks, three days in its own. Looks in its tough. Own. There's one yeah, she's true. like, I haven't seen a human in three days, and I've seen the same sight yep. for three days. Yep. She's like, that, that would be true. Tough. But yeah, what a cool thing to do. You should definitely do it. Yeah, I think if she was doing it, I'd tap in and yeah, do go a couple down legs with her or whatever. Legs. But yeah, there is that. that. There's different levels as well. Like, you can, you can do it how tough you want. Like, heaps of people, there's parts that they'll like hitchhike and whatnot. Like, because it's like, you the goal is just to get to the bottom. Like, if you skip out an hour of walking and you get a hitchhike, like, who cares? Yeah, there's yeah, def- yeah, yeah, right. definitely different, le- yeah. different levels. Because I think her one is she wants to just run. Yep. Like, she can't even step on a, like, she'll have a helper. Yep. But she can't, like, use the car at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, she wants to set the record for the fastest female. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a quick one, too. She's pretty wild, yeah. A friend um, of mine rode it, and... It, they did it in like a while, like I can't remember, but it was it was week, like it was only a couple, okay. like a few weeks or yeah, something. Yeah, well, biking would be a nuts. lot faster. Yeah, yeah my parents like... are talking about biking it, yeah, but doing it in sets, like you're talking about. Right, right. So yeah, like no, doing, he's just a nut job. He just went North, North Island. Island, yeah, and then just right. Break anyway, we better w- wind this back oh, in sorry. this conversation. Oh yeah, so dehydrated food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. TikTok trends, yeah. maths. Where did we start <clears throat> that conversation? Leo's pizza. Leo's, Leo's pizza. pizza. <laughs> anyway, so they do a meal bags are back. Of, um, <laughs> they do the side dish, which is a mashed potato ball stuffed with jalapenos and cheese, crumbed and deep fried. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So sounds good. If you're a bit like tired and hungover on a Sunday, oh, get one of them. Outstanding. Take the lid off that. You pop the lid off a <laughs> few of those in. balls, that's for sure. <laughs> and the pizza just, I wouldn't stray past, like, cheese pizza or a pepperoni pizza. I'm not, I don't hate a, pe- I don't hate a um, Hawaiian pizza, to be honest. But I, There's better pizza. There's better pizza, but yeah. th- if it's me and the kids, I'm like, whatever, cheese yeah. pizza, Hawaiian pizza, that's all we get. I'm not going to go out and get a barbecue chicken, bloody mm. bacon pizza. Though. I'm happy with the cheese pizza. I think it's great. Some of those balls. I think it's. I reckon it would be the best takeaway pizza I've ever had. Nice. Yep, so big cool. So, and you were starving. 
well, I was like I've just that was yeah, it was a big anticipation. Mm-hmm. I really buckled in. And she had she had no food at the house, and I was like, oh, so I ate three of those cheese wedges, you know, the craft cheese wedges. Oh, That's yeah. all I had to snack on while I was waiting for my. What are the cheese wedges? You know, you get the circle. Uh, and there's eight wedges of cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. They're quite low-fat cheese. It's almost like a cream cheese, but cheddar I don't know. It's a kid's know. thing, isn't it? It's a kid's thing, but I actually... Oh, I mean, I ate three, so I thought they were quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> cheese good. Yeah, I was like, these are yeah. actually nice. They're not getting cancelled. Yeah. No, I might bring those back. What You're about laughing sh- cow. What about string cheese? Never had one. No? You know those little, like, tubes and you, like, peel them off? I have seen sounds those. Yeah. Sounds hideous. Are I didn't have like them a, as a kid, but... Nah. Is it a New Zealand? I thought that was an American thing. I remember eating them when I was in like, high school. Yeah. Okay, string anyway, cheese. moving on. So much strings. Campbell and I went to a Nepalese dinner. Oh, yes, we did. The other week. Oh, yeah, and the little pop-up. And I must admit that I read, yeah, it was at Izakai. It, well, I read the menu and I was like, that doesn't appeal to me at all. But it sounds fun. I don't think I've ever had Nepalese food. I'm going to go. And it just blew all my expectations out of the water. Yeah, it was Ooh. delicious. It was so nice. Nice. Um, what was the, the starter? The starter was a sort of similar to what I just des- described from Leo. It was like a cheesy ball. It was called cheesy aloo chop, which is potato. So it was like a cheesy ball, but it had like a coriander foam or something on it, yeah. and it was quite spicy. It was nice. Real nice bite. Mm. And then we had momo. It was said momo soup, but it was like a couple of dumplings on a cold peanut sauce. Um, okay. Yeah, which yeah. was yum. Yeah, it was. Yummy peanut sauce. I kind of looked at it like... What? And then funny. we had a goat shank, wild goat okay. shank yeah, on I'd, mash. I had yeah. two. And then <laughs> they liked to know I want another one. Campbell had another one. Yeah. So it was quite heavy That's food, me. but it was <laughs> the flavours were just delicious. Like with a curry jus, mm. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and like, um, well, I was pretty full after the lamb, two lamb shanks. Yeah, I was like absolutely stonkered after my one shank. It, it was so. nice, especially that starter. That, um, the cheesy thing. Yeah, yeah. that was mm. delicious. Like you put that in your mouth, you're like, the texture mm. was just right. Yeah, it was like, very cheesy. It was yep. a nice Delicious. mellowed flavour. Like, yeah, it was nice. It was mm. uh, and then there was a rice pudding with, I think, pistachio and rose water. It was cold though, eh? Yeah, and then they ended up they ended up with that um that dough. I don't know. Yeah, I don't it was like a little was. sweet. That was kind of uh what flavour was it? Pistachio? I think so, yeah. And it was like butter? a sweet Oh yeah, condensed milk. It was like condensed uh, milk sort of cornflour situation. Right. That was a texture yep. and I didn't know that was no good, but Yeah, well, that was yeah, that was the one thing that was cute still little some end it. to the thing. I think it was five courses for eighty bucks. Great, yeah. great thing. I think I love seeing those pop ups you can just jump on that and experience something quite new and different. They're becoming more and more frequent, aren't they? I'm seeing yeah, them more and more. You can it works for everyone, you know, yeah. you get these these chefs get to really express themselves and do this. It's and you're gonna sell out if you're only doing a couple of nights. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the restaurant who maybe is quiet on a Tuesday also gets a full house. Gets a full house. For drinks. So I think yep. it's quite genius, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, and he even came out. He didn't talk to us. <laughs> but he talked. He did. You just went there because you oh. were an hour late for dinner, remember? Oh, it was only 20 yeah. minutes there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, you, get the, you actually get to meet the guy. And, yeah. Um, he's, yeah. I saw him talking to someone else because apparently I was an hour late. <laughs> um, was everyone served everything at the same time or yep. was it like staggered? No, it was pretty much at the same time. Same time. Yeah, the five courses mm. came out at the same time. So you had to be there at Bang on time and then everything. Yeah, but luckily for Campbell, everyone was late because right. it said arrive at 5.15 <laughs> for a 5.30 start. Yeah. And I had my kids. Remember, I was trying to get you to babysit because yeah, I had no babysitter. Right. And I ended up just, like, chucking them at a mate's house and then racing down there. Yeah. And I got there at 5.30 and then the restaurant was, like, empty. And I was like, shit, I was panicking that I was late. Be late. And then sat down and then I could see the chefs, like, literally looking around, like, What's I happening? Know. And then what time did you get there? Quarter to six, maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they pretty much got the food out got after that. But they had another setting at 7.30. Ah, so, so it was... They had to be on time. Yep. Yeah. For the next lot. Because yeah. the ones that I'd been to, like, they obviously pad out the tables. So they're, like, you know, they're just, like, making four of this and four of this. And then going back to that and going back. So they're kind of, like, padding it out rather than trying to do 100 of one meal at the same time. Mm. Nice though. No, cool. it was great. Cool. I mean, they got cool, cool experience. I think yeah. it was great. I really enjoyed it. I think it's the way of the future. That pop up dining is great. Uh, we've got flavors of plenty coming up here next month. Oh, April, mm-hmm. end of March, early April, and I'm absolutely gutted. I just think it's worth mentioning. I absolutely would have done an event if I could have, but mm. I've got so much on that week. Christchurch Food Show, I've got a wedding that week, I've got Peppa's birthday. Bang on Easter. And it's bang yeah. on Easter, and I just couldn't pull it together. And, um, and they're like, oh, you need to come to some of the events. I'm like, I don't, I'm free one of the nights. Mm. That's how 
tight. My April is absolutely no good. So I'm quite gutted about that, but if you can get behind the flavours of plenty... And if there's, there's any some tickets left, because the one that I would have gone to is sold to out. To Rose's Dining yeah, Table. Yeah. I, I have this on my list because I think Rose is just doing the most cool stuff. Smashing it out. She's together, just so. smashing it. She's so actually cool. stumbled upon this... Not stumbled upon, but she's got this business model that uh, no one else is doing. Yep. And it's brilliant, and it's colourful and vibrant and fun, and the food is fun. It's not fussy. It's yep. en engaging. It's like... And it's tailor-made. It's not just a set menu. Yeah, the same yeah. yeah, and, and dining and time taking... Do it going and cooking for some for 20 in someone's home and providing them with a fun afternoon of mm. bubbles and bright colours and yeah. fun is just so, so cool. Yeah. So I think she's just, I mean, she's booked out for ages, I think, but exceptional one to watch for sure. I got, I've got a story. I don't know if I told you the story, but that I got oh, Rose to do a custom painting. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that she had, um... So, oh, that's the, that's when, um, <laughs> when... When me and Matt, when I met, after I met, <laughs> met Matt, um, and he started like, he, he's not an Instagrammer, obviously. Um, but he, he was trying to impress He me. was trying to like, well, he would keep putting up these rogue like food posts. Yep. And my friends kept screenshotting them and sending them to me and be like, <clears throat> like, he's trying to get your attention, like, it's so rogue, like. And then one day, you were big I, into anchovies, I was big eh? in anchovies, putting anchovies in anything. And then one day he put up this post and it was just like toast with scrambled eggs with three anchovies on it. And <laughs> my friend <laughs> Jess out. just like, yeah, fishing. She like <laughs> lost it. She's like, this guy is so into you. Like, this is literally <laughs> aimed at you. And and, but the photo was like, you know, it had I'll like the you. Instagram border, the I Instagram know, filter. No literally bait though, eh? It literally <laughs> looked like it was like. Wait for this. Oh. I'll, I'll show you, um, Cam. And. He's maintained to this day that it wasn't for me. He's like, no, nah, I was just but sending my... But anchovies on scrambled eggs yeah. and then takes a photo of it and puts yeah, it on Instagram it's, with the it, border. Look, <laughs> it's rogue. It's rogue. And then, so that's the photo. Oh, honey. <laughs> I know. It's so good, though. Uh, I'll screenshot it so that we can put it on the, on the, on on the, the podcast. So anyway, I got Rose to... <laughs> Still painting on because it? we've been together a year or whatever, and he'd, he'd done all this stuff, and I'd done nothing for our anniversary. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. So I was like, Rose, can you paint paint that picture for me? Perfect. And I'll give it to him because it's like thoughtful, but in kind of a very funny way. A shuri poke. In a shuri oh, way. Ah, very shuri way. And this is the painting. Oh, perfect. And she's just, she's <laughs> literally awesome. given me the most awesome painting <laughs> I've ever seen. Is that in your house? Or uh, it's, it's in his house and I gave it to him and he just like instantly knew what it was. <laughs> oh, that's and awesome. And lost it. That's like, it was such a good it's gift. It's a very thoughtful so gift. Is this thoughtful from yeah, me? Yeah, that's hey? very good. Thank yeah. you. That's what I thought, but I was also a bit like cheeky. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome too. Like, it is yeah. awesome too. It's actually like an awesome thing to yeah. have in your house. So I was definitely waiting for that painting thing to go somewhere else. So. Oh, <laughs> like a naked oh, nest, no, no. <laughs> a sword or something. No. So I'm gonna have to share a post of the the painting because it's so good. Um, and I just, Rose is a very talented artist. Talented. Yeah, I yeah, think cool. she's just incredible. So really, really enjoy her. Nice. Great. So yeah, flavors are plenty. Keep an eye out for that. Freeze dried lollies is the next thing on my list. Taking the lolly world by storm oh, from Pick yeah. and Mix. I think they're rubbish. Oh, yeah, I really don't like them. I think it depends on the lolly that you <laughs> start you. with. They're shit, hey. Yes, yeah. It's big. And they're just big. Yeah. Nah. Like you think it depends on the lolly? I think it depends on the lolly. I, like so, they sent us a whole bunch of stuff, and they sent us the chamoy stuff, which is like the spicy, spicy covered lollies, and then they freeze dried. It was really, they were really bad. interesting. Really interesting flavors going on the sweet and spicy and whatnot i think that um oh some of the lollies like almost end up real claggy and like sort of i don't know but um what's claggy them, oh you know like <laughs> <laughs> stick to your teeth mine's it and, like <laughs> chewy? My, chewy? not uh, chewy nah gummy. because they're not chewy they just like crunch in your mouth but then they get all like yeah, gummy. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Well, what lolly do you think's great then? Mm. What freeze dried oh. lolly is blowing your mind? Oh, do you know what? Actually, the skittle is not Sk bad. The skittle. The skittle's not bad. So I think it was the there was a, like the blue sharks or something that were done in there, and I think they were felt a bit weird. But then the skittles were mean because I guess as a starting lolly, like they're not gummy and they're not sticky. They're kind of yeah, right. yeah you know, they're a little bit. Mm. Oh well, they, I guess they are a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe they just freeze dry better. I just don't really like lollies like. Yeah, so I'm not a big sugar I'd, person either. I'd though. be, I'd grab chocolate. 
Yeah, you're yep. a chocolate Do person, like chocolate. aren't you? Um, Do they freeze dry pineapple lumps? I feel like that'd go hard. Yeah, that'd probably be nice. Hard, yeah. That might be a nice texture. I like uh, those ones frozen a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice chew. Just interesting. I mean, it's very. I, I will. I'll turn it into a compliment. Pick and Mix does the best marketing of any other company on the internet. Oh, they're the nailing it. Absolutely yeah. nailing mm. it. Great comp. Like, uh, she actually is. Uh, I actually know her from Rotorua. Well, I knew. I used to work with Julian Richard. I have met her sister, maybe the owner's sister. Uh, for Herb's Place. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, and right. she's just t- taken this little lolly shop and just become right. the best thing on the internet. Yeah. Absolutely love yep. it. Doing a great job. Very, very cool. And they've expanded massively. Yep. Which is, I just, uh, it's just really cool to see, isn't it? And now they're doing these freeze dried lollies, which is a fun novelty. And they do, they bring in all the stuff from America yep. that we don't get, which is cool. In the UK cool. and everywhere. Yeah. Like it's, it's all of the yeah. overseas stuff, which is interesting. Yeah. You don't know until you try, eh? And like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool to see people try and shit. Oh, I think it's cool. I really like those snackle boxes. There's another company just popped up doing those, so they buy the tackle box and fill it with... <laughs> so they might be like, <laughs> snackle box? <laughs> you know, like, you know Copy- <laughs> Copyright it before they do. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's like a, it's like a washing a thing. box. So you put, can you do it for kids? Toddlers. Yeah. So you get the tackle box, 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 box and you put like pretzels, raisins, yeah, That's awesome. Dirt, Why are we buying dirt. lunch boxes? You could buy a tackle box with five Hard. bucks from Bunnings. Yeah, for Fisherman's hat. Oh, I didn't know you didn't know about that. That's oh, first, yeah. So now, but now someone's making them with lollies and selling yeah. them uh, with lollies. So you can get red or blue or oh which is quite goodness. cool. But I Genius. thought I was like, oh, we could do something like that in the shop, like something with our stuff, you know, like yeah. our baking or something, like a, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Anyway, anyway, cool concept. Like we need other ideas going around. Oh, I know. Um, break. Excellent. What else have I got? A Christchurch food show. We're going down to the Christchurch food show. Yes, so. We are. Um, be great to get a bit of hype around that. I think we should make a real thing out of it. I think I might stay down with you for the week. Go see some people. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Mum suffered to have the kid because I was going to fly back up here oh. on the Monday and then fly back down to this wedding on Thursday. Oh. So Mum's like, oh, we'll just stay down for those three days. You might as well. You might as well. So Go maybe, eh? Yeah. Why well. not? Yeah, there'd be stockers that you could um, do some stuff with for sure. Make some content. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna, and then we're going to Queenstown for this wedding in Wanaka. So we'll mm. be around. Yeah, around yeah, town. yeah. We're gonna be the, the man around town. So that's pretty much my list. I think I've had a, a lovely food week. The pool's coming along well. Um, I've decided I hate the concrete, so the guy came in today to rip half of it up. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Don't make a hasty decision." I'm like, "Get that concrete cutter back here <laughs> because I hate that concrete." So he's Perfect. popped back yep. to cut the concrete out that we just laid last week. I think that's the right decision. Oh, agree, eh? Yeah. You could have just put planters along the blimmin' wall. That's what everyone's saying to me, Lorne, but planters are actually more expensive than cutting the concrete out and planting a garden. Yeah, but it's just more flexible. I don't even care. Who cares? Okay, it's we've got to wrap this lush. up. It's going to look lush. Did you right. see my photo yesterday? It's all coming together. Yeah, it did. Yeah, the, the world's the biggest project. Right, right, coming good. together. Ah, uh, thanks for coming. Have a great week. <laughs> Try the potato bash, mashed potato balls from Leo's Pizza. Um, and watch out for peppermint schnackle boxes. Watch out for peppermint schnackle boxes. Black Gold is back online today. Gotcha Goods back in stock. I've been working on my new podcast. That might be coming out soon. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Lots of stuff on all around. Oh, Check and my out. dining, the dining guide, Cherie's dining guide for the Bay of Plenty will also be out. In the next few weeks. That'll be very cool. I reckon it'll be cool too. Yeah. Online as well? Yeah, I reckon yeah. you get it online. Cool. Yeah, and Perfect. then I've, because everyone, someone asks me every day, where do I, I'm coming yep. down, where do I eat? And I'm yep. going to be like, boom, send me the dock. Yep. Yeah, done. Nice. Wrapped up. Perfect. All right, have a great week. Bye, thanks. Bye, thanks. See you. Thanks for listening to the Pepper and Me podcast, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the products that we're talking about, you'll find us at pepperandme.co.nz.